Today, it is the Road to Adepticon, number three. It's my third Old World Battle Report. Guys, what is going on? It's your boy James here. Uh, went to the Dice Dojo, tried to get a game against uh, Ian, and Ian's uh, plans fell through, so more or less, I ended up getting another game against my brother. I do have a second game coming up right after this one uh, against a guy named Will, uh, who's a new guy that I've never played before, coming out uh, from 40K into the Old World. Anyways, um... So, uh, got this game against my brother. We had talks from the last game. I know you just watched the last battle report. You saw me play my brother there. And we were just trying to fix up the list on his side. Uh, one of the things that me, Phil, Carl, and my brother came up with was the fact that he needed a... Uh, a level 4 slaughter master, basically, just for... Even for defense, more or less. Um... The Thunder Tusk, uh, we put the General on a Thunder Tusk instead of Stone Horde to save points, uh, giving them Tenderizer and Talisman Protection. We have nine Iron Guts with the Demon Slayer's Guards. I think this unit is freaking cool. I'm going to just pop that unit up right here. He's basically a, he has the Cannibal Totem, which means these guys are eating bodies as they're killing people for regen sake, but they're, they also have Demon Slayer Scars. So it's just insane to think that these guys are like some evil cannibal demons that are just like, eating everybody. That is crazy, but it has iron guts. Um, just, just thematically, okay? You got three ogre bulls. He has two iron blasters. Boom, boom. He has two gorgeous. These are the things he really wanted in the list, and we're just kind of, like, playing it out to see how they go. Uh, and then he took a thunder tusk, again, for points purposes. If he had another 30 points, he would pop up a stone horn. Um, that's his list, more or less, but that's what we came up with. Uh, we were going into my list. My list, he was, uh, he, he basically was not content with uh, the goblins and the fanatics. He's like, man, you need your savages. You need your savages. Like, the savages don't roll, roll the same. So basically, he was like, why don't you just try them um, against me? And then you can switch back to the goblins if you want on the high elves. I said, okay, uh, the game against Will. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll bring out my savages. So I bring out my savages because my brother talked me into it. I'm going to show you a couple things that I added into the list. Number one thing was the Manglish Quig. And again, I apologize for the bases. The bases, I, I based them last, more or less, after I'm done painting. Usually I try to get my list ready for a tournament. Uh, until I get settled on the list, I'm not going to base. <laughs> Once I get uh, ready for basing, I'll base it all like the night before the tournament. I don't know why I do things like that. It's just, I just do. All right. So I ended up making my Mangle Squig here. And also, this is this was actually fun. Uh, I added the spit effect on him. And as well as, um, he's been in my case for over a decade, roughly. And since he's been in my case for over a decade without me really using him, he's actually been bending over the years like he's been breaking so i ended up having to like refix him prop him up and more or less get him back airborne uh so we could have a proper mangler squig you know um i ended up taking my goblin off the uh i took my goblin shaman off of the arachnorok and the reason i did that was because um i don't feel that i was getting any benefit from uh, the close combat of the Arachnorok with the range damage of the wizard. So I ended up just putting him on a chariot, and this gave me another chariot, the Mangler, and obviously the Savages, and I think I had another chariot in the list, but I think I dropped it for the Savages. Um, anyways, uh, so we ended up going to the Dice Dojo. The Dice Dojo, they were having a Blood Bowl tournament, which I thought was uh, pretty cool, actually. I'd never seen a Blood Bowl tournament. Uh, the funny part was that my friend in Florida, Rob, he, he would love to play Blood Bowl. So I took these pictures for him. Um, and then uh, we were just we were stuck in the middle of it. Like, there's Blood Bowl tables to the left of us, right of us, and behind us. All right? We were at the table smack dab in the middle smack dab in the middle and uh and then we were like listening to all their like okay coaches this is what's going on round two round three you know and then they ended up like some guy won 140 dollars for best paint 140 dollars holy shit man i haven't been to a tournament that gave out cash prizes for paint in like 10 years I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm playing the wrong game, man. I gotta go to Blood Bowl and get some fucking goddamn $140 checks, man. Or cash. Jesus Christ. I need I need to earn money somehow. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I already showed you the pictures of the armies. Uh, this is my brother's Thunder Tusks. Uh, the one on the right is his Tyrant with the... Um, 
the Thunder Tusk and the one on the left is just a straight up Thunder Tusk. Uh, and then these two giant models are his Gorgers. Uh, he has Kine uh, Gorger models. Excuse me. I keep saying Kinators, but it's Gorgers. He has Gorger models. Um, my dad had like nine or ten of them when my dad passed. We found them and we're like, why the hell did dad buy so many Gorgers? This makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. My brother's like, whatever. So he took them all um, since my brother has the Ogre army. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go quickly through my army. You can see... Um, there's the, the the mangler again. There's my general on the wyvern. and there's my arachnorock spider. No character on top this time. I uh, got my iron orcs, my goblin on the chariot. That fat bastard right there. I call him Koopa. So if I if you hear me slip up saying Koopa, that's what it is. Um, and then I got my shaman. I still haven't came up with the name of him. He's like a sun worshiper though, the evil sun worshiper obviously. Um, and then I got my savage orc uh, biggins, and they have the battle banner of the the wall. Uh, gives them the extra D3 charge range. Alright. <clears throat> I go ahead and I'd, uh, put up the terrain. The terrain I tried to make um, a little bit more thematic, more uh, more scenic, I should say. Uh, we got both forests. They ended up being, We roll. Honestly, I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how uh, you guys... Because uh, the book just says, you know... The terrain can be difficult or dangerous. You have to decide ahead of time or something like that. What me and my brother and Phil do is we just kind of roll for it. One, two, three, it's it's dangerous. Four, five, six is difficult. But I don't know how you guys do it. Do you guys have any other method? We don't know. I don't know. We just randomize it like that. Uh, same thing with the water. I think uh, the water was dangerous, and we just kind of avoided it this whole fight. Um uh, We got a fence on the right side, a low linear obstacle. And then... um and then we played the two terrains, the cauldron and the moon, as uh, impassable, and then obviously a hill. Uh, this is my side of the table. That's his side of the table. Uh, for magic, he ended up getting uh, Plague of Rust, um, Plague of Rust, Wind Blast, Travel Mystical Pathway, and then uh, he ended up taking Toothcracker again. Uh, for me, I ended up taking Vindictive Glare, Evil Sunshine, and Photogoric, and I ended up taking the Itchy Nuisance. Uh, he ended up... We, we, I gave him the first uh, drop because he has just very little drops compared to mine. So uh, he did a drop, I did a drop, he did a drop, I did a drop, right? Um, what I ended up, I knew he was going to put the cannons on the hill, obviously. So I put the rack and rock behind the, the, the moon trying to block his shots. Um, I ended up putting my uh, goblin shaman all the way on the left because uh, the forest, he cannot see through the forest, I don't believe, even if on he's on the hill. I got to double check that if he's on the hill or not. But I, that was my, my assumption was he can't shoot through the forest. So I put my goblin shaman all the way on the left and then the mangler kind of hiding in the forest as well. Um, my general is in the back. I'm not like really worried about it because I have armor save and ward save, but you know what? When he doesn't have any other targets, guess who's going to shoot? All right. Um, and then his two gorgers are not out right now. He put his thunder tusk on the right to protect from the spider on the right, and then he put his general and the uh, iron gut star in the middle. All right. Uh, let's go into turn. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Scouts. He ends up scouting. I ended up putting my little goblin um, squig hopper over here. Uh, on the in the left forest, he ended up deploying. I, I did this so I could, I could stop his scouts, but he had a little chunk of land right there that he could fit the guy on. I was like, "You son of a bitch!" Uh, him doing this, he could get behind me. I'm like, "Okay, I gotta stop his gorger from from attacking." Uh, and then his other gorger popped up here. He's using it as chaff to my spider, so he could get his thunder tusk in. All right, um, turn one. Oh, and by the way, he vanguarded up. Um. Turn one, Ogre Cons. Ogre Cons, turn one. Uh, he uh, learned from his mistakes last game. He's discovering my max charge ranges from my uh, my chariot, from my boar boys. Uh, so he's just kind of like playing with those ranges. Uh, if you guys are wondering where we got these sticks from, we got them from movementtray.com. Um, and then he's going to go ahead and move up his star. Um, he doesn't cast, he, I think he casts iron, um, what is that, Toothcracker? That's it. The only other spell he has that he can cast right now is the... Um, Travel mythical pathway, pathway, pathway. Excuse me. And uh, he was like, "Oh, I should have cast it first. And I go, "You can still cast it." And he's like, "Nah, forget it." So he didn't really do it, and he just kind of left it as is. Um, shooting phase. He's gonna go ahead and shoot right here with both of these uh, iron blasters. First one shoots towards my general, aiming a line through my black orcs into my general. <sighs> um, you know. I should have thought better. I'm like, you know, I didn't give him a target with the spider. But I'm like, I got a word save. I'll be fine. Well, this this list, he's a three-up word save. 
or sorry, three up armor save, five up ward. Uh, so if he's AP three, he's going five up, five up more or less. He shoots, it goes through three of my black orcs. One of the black orcs actually survives this, and then hits my um, general, kills off two of the black orcs, and does three wounds on my general. Oh, I'm like you, son of a. Bitch, man. Oh, this starts off so bad. This starts off so, so bad, man. If he does another one like that, I'm just... That guy's dead. That guy's dead. Um, Alright. He shoots the second one, aiming for my general as well. Since the angle is different, he's not going to hit my black orc. He's going to hit the freaking chariot in front. And boom! He blasts three wounds into the chariot. Hits the general again. <sighs> I made the word save. Holy shit, my heart's dropping. I'm like, oh, no. Please stop. Stop the violence. Um... It's, that's it for his turn. That, that, that's that's brutal, man. I'm going to go ahead and start off turn one. Orcs and Goblins. Orcs and Goblins turn one. I end up getting Evil Sun Shining. This gives me reroll ones and armor piercing. Um, I actually, uh, the next game you see with the High Elf player, I really learned something I could do with this spell specifically to make very deadly shooting units, more or less. Um, and... Um, but that's it, really. Um, I'm going to go ahead and charge. He did leave me an 18 charge on the... Um, on the... Uh, bulls, right? And I'm movement 9. I get 6 for... Charge range, which is 15. Yeah, I got 18 uh, with the Swift Stride. So I go ahead and I charge that. And that's honestly an easy charge for this, uh, the Chariot. The Chariot's usually like... I don't know, man, like... 18 is an easy number, man. It's only a 9 on Swift Stride. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. Uh, my spider, though, my spider is going to go into his, his Gorger. I'm not too worried about it, except the fact that he obviously set up his Thunder Tusk to, shoot, uh, to charge it next. So I'm like, well, I'm going to have to deal with that, right? But I thought about just backing up and just shooting him with the poison shots. But if I back up, I'm going to be seen by his, cherry, his uh, Iron Blasters. So I'm just kind of in a situation where I'm just like, what do I do here? I'm just going to at least take out a unit that I know I can take out. Right, um, this fat fuck gets in, boom, right, and then the other fat fuck over there gets in. This guy, he didn't know I could do this, but the the random movement, you could wheel, you could turn around, you could do a bunch of stuff in the, you could actually make like 90 degree turns in random movement now. This is a thing that wasn't in 8th edition, and it wasn't in 9th uh, age either, uh, so I just rolled like a 15 it was just like and did a little donut and went boom a little u-turn and then got into this this guy right here um and then uh i ended up doing this with my mangler i uh i used my random move and i just ran into my guys and that's the end of the move so he's just stuck there for a turn maybe two um at this point my brother goes why did you even bring that guy i don't like mangler squigs i go why don't you like mangler squigs he goes every time i watch you play them they don't do shit and i'm like hey eh, you know i'm like it's 90 points 95 points it's not that bad for a monster that that's pretty damaging if it does get in you know so he's like yeah we'll see um, all right, so what I ended up doing was since I know the the chaff is out of the way on the right side, I move my boar boys up. He can't charge in with the iron blasters; that's too far of a charge. And then his um, I'm threatening his guts. All right, uh, I ended up not going into the forest because I want to make sure I get rank bonuses. Not that I'm not disordered, and I'm moving my wizard as you can see all the way on the left side behind the cauldron to avoid getting shot by his cannons. Um, I'm just I'm fucking deadly afraid of these fucking cannons. I move my general out of 36 inch range too, um, or 38 inch range. So he's gonna have to move and shoot if he does try to kill my general. Um, but realistically, uh, the angle behind <laughs> the mangler will mean that he hits the mangler, and the mangler is gonna probably die but my general will be fine. Uh, and then it, the other one, I don't think can see through the forest. So that's what, that's, that's my goal here, right? All right. Uh, I ended up getting Vindictive Glare off, ended up killing off one Iron Gut entirely. That is actually pretty cool. That's pretty good. Uh, and then I ended up getting the Foot of Gork <laughs> right there. Um, I really want to get one of those templates. There's a guy on Facebook who has a really cool template. I just want to get the PDF and just print one up. Um, I thought about just painting it on there, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. I saw another guy who did this this um, template, and uh, he uh, he just painted it on. He put rocks on there. He put, like, uh, you know, terrain, and just had the footprint in there. I might do something like that. I don't know. Um, all right, close combat up here. The impact is boom, does three wounds with the squig. Uh, I think it was impact. It was like one wound, and then he did two more wounds with the squig. Um, but he's going to go back, and he just uh, he does 
two to th- two wounds, I think, outside this guy back. Um, and I failed to kill him with the, the goblin. I failed to kill him with the goblin. Uh, so he is going to live, and he's unbreakable, so he's going to stay there. I end up just staying in combat with him because I don't want to deal with uh, him getting in the background. Uh, I think he just pushes back two inches. I'm going to just keep up with him. Um, up here, oh my god, the chariot actually did some damage this time. Uh, impact hits, kills off one. And then uh, the guy on top kills off another. I think the goblins and the wolves all did their stuff. He did make a couple armor saves, but he, he's going to uh, have one guy remaining. I think the one guy remaining does a wound. No, he does. He does absolutely nothing. As you can see, I did six wounds. He did nothing. Um, he's going to just break, uh, fall back in good order, and I'm going to follow. Now, this is the first time this happens. It happens a lot. Okay, he he does fall back in good order. He rolls two dice. He takes the top dice. That's how I understand this works. Okay, the top dice was a six. Okay, well I could roll all three of my dice: two dice to pursue and one for swift stride. Okay, and all three of them just have to equal six or more, right? I rolled a five. Yeah, I rolled a five. Okay, um, up here. I end up doing like two wounds onto this guy. He he ends up regening a couple of them, which was kind of crazy. He just rolled sixes out of his ass. Um, he ends up doing one wound onto me. Uh, I think the thunder stomps got him. I think that's exactly what it was. The thunder stomps got him, right? So I killed this this gorger. I have the opportunity if I roll an eight or higher, I can run off the table. I don't have to worry about the thunder tusks. Um, and I'm just like. You know, that I was really contemplating this. I was like, well, maybe I'll just take the charge. Uh, knowing my brother, he would, nine times out of ten, or 99 times out of 100, he will charge me with the thunder toss because he wants those impact hits. He wants it. And I'm thinking, I can stand and shoot, do poison shots. Then I got all the poison from the spider and the goblins. I should be able to take, um, do a couple wounds to this guy. And then I'm stubborn. So that first turn, I'm just going to bounce back a little, and then I'll be able to counter charge, or char- he charges me again, and I'm just going to be able to uh, withstand it, or get it, either get it close to killing it, or killing it, or vice versa. Uh, but it'll be a battle. It'll be a big battle. And I'm like, or I could just run eight inches, get off the table. If I run eight inches off the table, what I'm thinking is that the following turn I get on, I'm going to be exposed to both cannons, right? So I decide I'm going to fight them out. I'm going to just stay here. Let's do it, all right? It's going to be turn... Two Ogre Cons. Turn two Ogre Cons. He backs his Thunder Tusk up. What a little bitch. What a little bitch. I'm like, what are you doing? That's not like you. And he's like, ah, ha, ha, I'm going to shoot your spider. He's exposed now. I was like, you son of a bitch. Um, that's it. <laughs> I mean, he, I don't think anything on the left happened. I'm trying to look for pictures. Uh, I don't think he did uh, much in movement or anything like that. I think he might have moved a little bit closer, finding out what the max range is in. But the, at this point, the boar boys are getting pretty close. Um, so he's going to shoot both of his cannons. <laughs> Fucking guy, man. Boom! He, he, one hit, did four wounds. Second one hit, did four wounds. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. You son of a bitch. Over here, my uh, my squig hopper ended up killing the gorger off, and uh, yeah, that's that's uh, he didn't charge in with the guy that was. I think he did that on purpose. He didn't charge in up here with the guy who was fighting uh, the fat fuck uh, because he wanted to waste my turn to to charge in again, which I obviously thought was smart. All right. Uh, turn two, orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins. Turn two. I'm gonna go ahead and charge the. Boar boys, excuse me. The boar boys into his uh, gut star. He actually moved back. That's what he did. He moved back. Um, but I go ahead and charge into his gut star, um, needing, I think, like a 10 with Swiss stride and uh, the dice roll, and I end up nailing it. Nailing it. Now, they do have the warband rule, which gives them a reroll to charge, which that's really why I did it. Um, boom! Get in like so. Now, as you can see, my shaman is moving around the flank, around that building, okay? The fucking chariot moves nine and marches 18. That is a very fast mobile unit to, to get into good spell s- spots. I'm still avoiding the damn cannons, though. I am avoiding the shit out of the cannons. Um, my general is uh, also trying to use that cover from the... Uh, the cauldron, and then I ended up moving my black orcs and my savage orcs up like that, as you can see in a V formation, because that way if he charges into one and I, I do like a, a give ground, it gives a counter charge with the other. That's my plan, okay? I don't plan on losing with the boar boys, but we'll see what happens. Um, 
And, uh, yeah. Uh, my magic, I ended up trying to do a Vindictive Glare into his general, and I miscast, and I get a barely controlled power, um, which I believe... I get the extra, I get the spell off anyways, but I just, yeah, I do. Um, I do two wounds onto his general, but uh, I lose all my other spells for the game, for the round, I mean. Uh, and then you can see my foot just kind of chilling back there. I think my foot went through his guys and did a couple wounds too. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's about it. Let's go into combat. Combat, uh, my, uh, I did charge. The fat fucking ended up killing off the last guy, uh, running him off. I tried to, I think I just won combat. I think I did two wounds and he did one. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's because I have a great weapon. I have a great weapon. So I charged in. I don't get impact hits because it's only one inch. Uh, and then I have like goblins and dogs going. Didn't do anything. He ends up doing uh, a wound. I end up killing him. And then I could restrain and turn around. The issue is I failed my restraint check. <laughs> So I'm going to go, woo, forward. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, my boar boys, on the other hand, my boar boys here, uh, they are, they get two attacks each. They get furious charge, right? I'm going to go ahead and I swing away. I end up killing off two of his guys entirely. He does make a couple regen saves, uh, which there has to be a way to count the regen saves, um, realistically, uh, because it's, it, you know, other additions, you just kind of count the dead bodies. When you're making regions, people have to be more accountable to count those regions. That's, that's just, just a stated fact, okay? Um, but uh, what ended up happening is I ended up killing off two or three guys. I don't think he killed many of me. I have to kind of skip ahead here. I, I think he only killed off one of my guys. One of my guys. So I have a charge. Let's see if I have a picture of it. Anyways, um, I have a banner, I have a combat order, but he has a banner and combat order, uh, order. I did, uh, six wounds, I think I might have done a little bit more, uh, but he ended up losing by seven, okay, he ended up losing combat by seven, alright, I am winning, I'm like, oh cool, I'm gonna break this unit, I, I cannot break him by, uh, outnumbering him, because he obviously still outnumbers me, but if he falls back in good order, I'm gonna get past the, hopefully, past the line of sight of his uh, Thunder Tusk there, right? This motherfucker nails no, double ones. Double ones. They're insane courage. They stick there, leaving me open to the flank, and it's going to start off his turn, turn three, Ogre Cons, and he, boom, charges his Thunder Tusk right into the flank of my guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Um... He turns his cannons around just to start shooting into to this fat fuck over here. Uh, and then the first one shoots into, I think, my general and misfires. Uh, over here, close combat. I try to kill off his champ the first round. I think that was the other things that I was doing was damage from there. Um, but uh, what ended up happening was I challenged with my champion uh, just to start getting his characters out and challenge his as well. Uh, so he won't have a champ to counter with. So I challenge my champion. His champion accepts, who only has one wound left, and I swing first, and I end up killing the guy. Ooh. Um, besides that, though, I end up only killing off one guy. He ends up beating the shit out of me. I mean, he beats the shit out of me. Uh, I run. He chases with his iron guts. He tries to restrain with them, but I think he rolled a 12. Uh, so they start coming this way towards my uh, Black Orcs, and uh, that's going to set up the next turn. Um just to give you a heads up, here you go. He ended up doing, it looks like, eight combat res to my three. So that's all I really did was one to the champ, two to the unit. Uh, he ended up having like a flank, banner. Uh, actually, I think I did one wound, banner, and closed order. That's what I got, three. Okay, so he has banner, closed order, flank, uh, and then he has however many wounds, five wounds. He f punked me, punked me. All right, um... So it's going to start off turn three, Orcs and Goblins. Orcs and Goblins turn three. Let's see if I got a picture. All right. First thing I do, I put up Itchy Nuisance on this bastard. Fuck you. All right. Second thing I do is I charge my Savage Orcs into the flank. Into the flank. Boom. Now, I took this picture because I was asking a question of Phil Carl. I hit the flank. This is, uh, just say, I got nine inches <clears throat> on the charge. The nine inches touches his unit. Okay, uh, obviously my giant big stab of there is uh, ram ram ramming into his unit model, so it stopped, but it's touching the unit. But, do I get a free close the door? 
I'm trying to figure this out. Or does he close the door to me? That's all I want to know. If you guys can respond that in the comment section below, that would be helpful. Phil didn't answer me. I think he was busy or he didn't pay attention. Or Phil will probably answer me in the comment section below. I don't know. Anyways, so if I close the door to him, it does. It matters very little to me. It very, matters very little. I just want to know what the correct sequence is. Do I close to him or does he close to me if I touch him at that? And that's my maximum charge range. All right. Um... His Thunder Tusk is coming around, obviously, to start threatening me, but uh, it's my turn right now. So I turn the Iron Orcs to face that Thunder Tusk. One of the Blood Bowl guys is watching our game, and he's wondering, why didn't I just double charge that unit with the Black Orcs in the front and the Savages in the flank? And my, my realistic answer is, I'm hoping that unit runs in front of the Thunder Tusk and chaps the Thunder Tusk. I turn the Mangler this way. I realize the Mangler's probably going to get shot. Um, and then, um, realistically, I, I'm just trying to nuke his general with my um, chariot, my my sun worshiper. My goblin fat fuck up there, Koopa, he turned around because if he doesn't kill me, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to ram the shit out of that guy. So he knows that. He knows that, okay? But that's also distracting one of his cannons from killing my general or my mangler, okay? So that's how it looks. Uh, ter I do end up doing a Vindictive Glare onto his general. Just three wounds onto this guy. Woo! I love this spell. I love this spell. This spell is one of the best spells that I think we have. Um, and then, um, and since I did Itchy Nuisance, his, his toughness is lowered. He's only like tough five or four right now. Um, over here, close combat. I So, I end up attacking. And I'm pretty sure I can attack everything into the unit, right? He tells me that in base contact, I have to attack the Slaughtermaster. I'm not entirely sure if that's the rule, but you know what I do? I just decide to go with it. I said, fuck it. I'll attack these three into the Slaughtermaster, everybody else into the unit. Uh, because they get the wrap around, yada, 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 right? So I end up killing off, I think, one guy total, right? I whiffed. I whiffed bad. Now, I forgot they had choppas. I forgot they had armor piercing from choppas. I forgot they had... Um, let me think what else I forgot they had. <laughs> I did all the attacks. I got uh, three attacks each. I got hand weapons, frenzy, uh, paired weapons. So that's three attacks apiece. Um, but uh, the guys who aren't touching are only getting one attack apiece. And then since three of them were hitting the shaman, the shaman was top five, and I just whiffed. Uh, so I ended up only killing off one guy. Plus he has armor saves and regen. I'm assuming that I'm, I'm AP zero, which I should be AP one with choppas. Um, so I end up only killing off one guy between his regen. Uh, and uh, so he ends up... Um, I end up winning combat by a big amount. A big amount. I have flank, closed order, two ranks, banner, three wounds. That's eight combat res. He ended up killing off, like, I think two guys or a guy. Okay? So again, I'm winning by seven. Again. I'm like, I got this shit. I'm winning by seven. This is awesome. I'm going to fucking destroy this unit, right? He rolled, he rolled double ones again. He rolled double ones again. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that sets up his turn four. Turn four, he's going to charge his freaking general into the flank of my savages. Uh, he charges his... Thunder Tusk here into my Black Orcs. I thought to God, I swear to God, he was going to charge my my uh, Mangler. Uh, but he went straight for the Thunder Tusk. Into the Iron Guts. Uh, Alright. Boom! They get in like that. Oh, both his Thunder Tusks are in. It's going to be a bloodbath. Over here, he's going to shoot. Uh, we were, he was trying to figure this out. He was trying to figure out because he can't shoot 10 from the back because if he sh shoots 10 from the back, it doesn't make sense. Um, so I was like, dude, you just shoot like four in front of you and then just let it bounce into him. Uh, so that's what he does, and he ends up just destroys my fucking fat fuck here. Um, long live the Koopa, the fat bastard. Look at that. He's so vain that he has a picture of himself on his banner. Anyways. Um, all right. So this is brutal. Is I, I challenge out again because I know I know he doesn't have a champ. Okay, so I could give uh, make his shaman attack one dude or his thunder tusk attack one dude. So he ends up doing it with the shaman. So his shaman loses attacks. He kill kills my guy, but I'm gonna lose less guys more or less. Right now, so what ends up happening is 
he's getting a shit ton of attacks. He took out my back row there, which was like seven guys roughly. Um, and uh, I'm going to lose this combat. I roll double ones. He's like, what the fuck, man? I'm like, hey, you can do it twice. I can do it twice. Right? <laughs> Again, this Blood Bowl guy's watching our game, and he's just like, that's crazy, man. So we're just going to stick there. Um, actually, I think that was the post-combat. I think that's what it was. I think that's post-combat. I think this was the, the start of combat. You can see right here, he's still sideways. Uh, he ends up wiping out seven guys. He's going to win combat. I do give ground. And then... Uh, he follows me. That's what it was. Okay. Um, over here, holy shit. He, I'm like, I'm going great weapons because I'm assuming, I'm assuming he won't kill all my front row, which I think I had like just the champ that lived. Okay. Uh, so I ended up doing one wound with the champ. He ends up punking the shit out of me. I'm going to uh, fall back in good order. He follows. Okay. <laughs> my turn. Orcs and goblins turn four. This is where it gets nasty. Okay. Get up. Evil sun shining. I charge my general. I walk with my general. I charge in, right? And then that Mangler Squid goes boom and runs into the side. I am loving the random movement, just turning whenever they feel like it, okay? So this guy just boom into the side of this Thunder Tusk. I'm like, fuck it. This is my only chance. This is. I told my brother, this is it. This is a combat to figure out all the combats, right? So uh, since we're in combat... Since his, his Slaughter Master has been in combat for like three rounds, he is pissed. And I mean, I've never seen my brother pissed playing a game before. Never seen my brother pissed. Like, he is the chillest guy, okay? He is the chillest, like, freaking dude that plays Warhammer. But he is, for the first time ever, pissed he can't cast one spell. He can't cast one spell because he's stuck in combat. And he's like, where the fuck does it say that? Where the fuck does it say that? It comes back in the next game. How come you can't cast or dispel in combat? That's the whole reason I got off the itchy nuisances and the evil sons and all that. Is because I am just making him reroll or, uh, you know, he, he doesn't have a dispel with the, his general or his, uh, his slaughter master. So... What ends up happening is I got the, the general into general combat, right? I charge into the Thunder Tusk. We'll see how that goes. Uh, close combat here. The fucking... He ends up doing his impact hits, gets one wound. I end up doing my impact hits, and I do three wounds. Or two wounds. Two more wounds. And then the Mangler itself does two more wounds. Uh, at this point, he's trying to decide, do, do I attack the Mangler or do I attack the, the Iron Orcs? He's figuring out if he attacks the Iron Orcs, he's going to either stop the Iron Orcs from getting more attacks, or he's going to... Uh, help with his combat res, right? So he attacks the Iron Orcs, and he whiffs. I fucking kill the guy with the great weapons. I'm going to overrun with my Mangler now. And the Mangler, boom, gets into these guys over here. <laughs> oh, you know, it's funny as hell, because at the beginning of the game, he was like, I don't know why you bring the Mangler. Doesn't make any sense. Dude, this Mangler is about to eat some goddamn ogres, some demon ogres. All right. Um, I roll my impact hits, and look at this. I got this Canadian dice. Sorry. <laughs> I killed two of his guys. He doesn't even make a regen. At this point, the Mangler's having a field day. Uh, my general ends up fighting his general. He ends up doing a single wound to my general, but I end up just wrecking house. Now, I don't even know how many wounds these motherfuckers have. They got like 10 wounds or some shit. I don't even know. It's like 5 plus 4, I think, or 9. I don't know. But look at this. I did 7 already. 7 wounds. This guy's still alive. All right. Um... And then uh, his uh, the fight between I think he just attacked my my savages. Uh, he ends up killing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight savages. Uh, my my savages don't really do that many wounds back. After all is said and done, after everything is said and done, the one thing we forgot to do was count how many region saves he made. Okay, we ended up giving a total of combat order flanks. Uh, Banners, wounds, everything. He got 12. I got 12. But he knows, and I know, he made a couple region saves. So we just rolled on based on the fact that we know he lost, but he didn't count the regions. We didn't count the regions. And uh, he's going to uh, fall back in good order with the uh, Iron Guts, but his general gives ground. All right. <clears throat> uh, at this point, it's turn five. Uh, his turn. He's trying to accidentally shoot my Mangler. 
and my general. I told him if he shoots into the mangler, um, the mangler stops the bullet. And he was just like, oh, I didn't. And then he can't even purpose to shoot into the mangler because the mangler's in combat. So he's just like, well, fuck that. He's going to shoot the savages, right? Um, so he shoots into the savages, kills off a savage and a black orc. Uh, and then over here, close combat, my mangler eats the last guy and kills the shaman. And uh, my general ends up killing. Or no, he ends up doing another wound onto my general, and then my general ends up doing another like wound or two for, into his general, and uh, that is game. That is game. He's just like fuck this. It's over. It's over, man. So, whew, I I snuck by with a victory. I snuck by with the fact that his cannons were were fucking hot. His cannons killed my spider. They killed uh, Koopa. They killed. They did three wounds onto my general. His cannons were just like boom, boom, and that is just. It's making me switch to a two up armor. Uh, just to make sure I don't get fucking blasted by cannons that easy. Uh, I have to have more armor save. I really like the Bedazzling Helm. I got one more game with the Bedazzling Helm, but I didn't switch up my list. Um, because of the next game. The next game forces me to rethink how I'm playing. Um, right now I've been playing Phil Carl and my brother, uh, and John and... Even before John, uh, John was playing uh, Beast Herd Army, and he was playing Big Monsters. I played uh, Rob Crespo. He was playing uh, the the dragons on the vampire counts, the, the courts and stuff. So it's like big monsters. So I was kind of used to fighting that. The next game I fight, and the game, the last game I played against John online, he played a uh, shooty Wood Elf Army. And then the next game I'm playing is a High Elf player that allies with wood elves and you're gonna see how that plays off so it kind of makes me rethink my list a bit um and you'll see why anyways let's get the closing argument for my brother it's actually pretty funny we just finished the game philip you're wasting my points and i'm gonna explain to you later why why you wasting my points on this guy how did you feel the game went? <laughs> very upset the slaughter master couldn't catch any spells out of combat he couldn't cast any spells in combat he couldn't debuff people in combat it was just a waste he's blaming phil carl i blame phil carl for this besides that how do you think the rest of this works well that, the rest of this worked well the gorgeous how you all get what it was supposed to the cannons were awesome the cannons took out the rock rock put four wounds on your on your lord um they took out uh koopa cannons are, are funny but uh, if I could just do more of my mage, I think I'm going to have to take my mage out of the unit uh, of Iron Gut. Uh, Iron Gut Star does well, and the Duke Tiger Tusk do well. So I'm pretty happy with everything else except for the mage. Um, we had a last minute decision before we came in today. My brother was like, just bring the unit of savages. Uh, because I brought goblins and fanatics, but we're just going to bring savages and try them out. I think we did okay. I messed up one rule. I messed up the fact that I had choppas and. Uh, the armor beans have the AP2, and that saved him on a couple of armor saves. Besides that, though, the Mangler, MVP, man. Yeah. yeah. He was telling telling me in the middle of the game, I don't know why you bring that guy. Yeah, and uh, he saved the game at the end because the Thunder Tusk was owning the black yeah, They were going to, yeah. He was going to pop them, and then these guys were going to be, you know, hold up, hold up with the uh, general. So I really think that the Mangler did save the game for you. Yeah. The, um... I was going to bring the wizard around. If you kill my general that last turn, I was going to bring the wizard around. Just try to <coughs> ma magic missile you to death and hope that it kills you. Anyways, thanks, bro. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, th there's a question from that video I just I just uh, paid attention to. Um, we were talking about this um, because I know if, if I play an infantry model, if I play, a, like, a, just say, a wizard on foot, and the wizard is outside a unit, just say a goblin wizard's about, you know, a unit of, like, 30 goblins, and he's just standing three inches out. He has the evasive rule, right? The lone character rule. You can't really target him. It's hard to hit him. Yada, 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 right? So we were wondering that about the ogres. They're something that's blocking the ogre from doing the same thing, being three inches out of the unit um, and shooting and doing all that. Does it need to look out now so it's only three ogres, or does it always have to be five bodies or more, or how does that work? That's more or less what the question was. Uh, like you heard in that video, the MVP was easily the Mangler Squig. Um, I like the Mangler Squig. I was going to put in two in the, in the current list, but I'm just I'm still playing with the stuff. I'm uh, It's too many toys to play with and not enough points. That's what it is, okay? So uh, more or less, I'm going to go ahead and try um, right now, 
just playing with my list and seeing what other options. Like I said, I got another game coming up soon. It's against a high elf player named Will. Uh, that game, the pitchers are a lot less because we were getting kind of rushed out of the store. Um, but I will get that video up soon as possible. I go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any. Um, feedback or list suggestions please put it in the comment section below i'd love to hear it um there is something really cool in the next game so that that i'm uh, happy to show you guys when it comes up and uh yeah it was a much better game this game against my brother uh it was a lot more tactical than the first game um so it was uh it was a bloody it was a bloody game anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed that take care until next time peace